Hi friends! We just arrived at Kruger National Park in South Africa and we're excited for an amazing safari. Kruger is special because you can self-drive through the park, giving you the chance to enjoy animals at your own pace. Kruger has so many different styles of exploring the bush, so come along with us as we try a bunch of Kruger experiences. Welcome back to another Flyer Saga. We're starting off with the private safari experience. These all-inclusive safaris typically take place on private lands that are on the edge of Kruger Park. We made it to Tombow Tree Camp. Let's see what a private experience has to offer. Welcome to our treehouse for a couple of nights. We have a luxurious bedroom, a fan for comfort, we have bathrobes to keep us nice and cozy, and a full bathroom with a shower and toilet. And the best part is the view! We have elephants that we can see from our front porch. Note that this camp is eco-friendly, so there's no AC, but there's a pool! Best thing about this pool, sometimes elephants come to drink here. So we're camping out all day to see if they come. We get three meals a day and the lunch bell just rang. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> get, can you eat? You can probably eat Impala. I had Impala jerky. Oh, you had, he had. <laughs> Due to the 10 guest maximum of Tambo, it was also a great opportunity to make friends with other travelers. We are off on our first private game drive. I'm excited. Let's go see what we have in the private reserve. Game drive. It definitely feels like the Indiana Jones ride. Reserve ended up costing 270 per person per night, so it was definitely expensive, but well worth the cost. Now let's take a look at some much cheaper public alternatives for exploring Kruger, starting with the Lower Sabi Rest Camp. Welcome to our home in Kruger. Let's take a tour. We have tons of storage space. We have a whole setup for kitchenware, like plates and cutlery, even a crock pot and toaster. And then we have a fridge, so you can keep all your drinks cold. And we even have a sink in the room, even though the rest of the bathroom amenities are all shared outside. And of course, we have our bedroom. And best part, there's AC. Seems like it's working. And here is the real kitchen. It's super nice. It's an open air kitchen with sinks and stove tops. Each camp has a whole assortment of different lodgings with varying degrees of comfort. You'll need to stay on top of reservations though in order to get the nicer ones. And if you want to kick back and relax, you can enjoy the restaurant or the pool. The braai or barbecue is a huge part of South African culture. The convenience store has everything you need to do a braai on your own. Each of the lodgings also has a fire pit. If you don't want to cook, 
You can also eat at this fantastic restaurant, Mug and Bean. We've eaten here a few times and the food has been so good and only about five or six bucks a dish. And also a really nice surprise because we weren't expecting this kind of food out here on safari. So Lower Sabi is one of the camps that are in high demand. And it's because it's got a view right next to the river. I mean, this is the view from the camp restaurant. You can see elephants right here in the distance. That's so awesome. I can't believe you can see them from this table. What an amazing place to stay. We can do work, but sadly there is no Wi-Fi. Actually, there is Wi-Fi. My laptop connects to the hotspot here at the, the Lower Sabi Cafe. I just didn't want to tell Gary because he was having such a nice time watching the elephants. <laughs> now on the public side, you can either drive yourself or pay for a guided tour at about 20 bucks per person. The biggest advantage of the guided tour is exploration before the rest camp gates open and after they close. This means you can possibly see a bunch of nocturnal creatures you wouldn't have had a chance to on your own self-drive. Having an elevated bed and no windows makes this instantly better than the self-driving aspect. Another advantage of these game drives is that they actually get to do some of the off-roading. I don't think we can do that as self-drivers. One advantage of the guided safaris is they actually give you all these fun facts that you wouldn't really think to research. On the giraffes, you can see all these birds, which are actually plucking ticks off of the giraffe, so it's a symbiotic relationship. Disadvantage is that you may not get the best view in a truck of 20, and using a light to find animals is a lot harder than it looks. When self-driving, you can leave at your own pace, take advantage of rest stops with food, and follow animal sightings of your greatest interest. Definitely a trade-off. In self-drive, we keep our windows up because we're not elevated like the private game drive cars, so we don't want to allow wildlife to come in. One perk is that we can blast our AC as much as we want. Oh man, do I love the AC. A benefit of the self-drive is that you can start and stop the car whenever you want. On a private game drive, you might have to yell at the driver. Here, I only have to yell at Garrett. <laughs> I'm in the Lake Panic Hide right now. It's an area where you can actually get out of your car and then walk through this gated area to a viewing platform. A little shack set up, it's like a spy shack. You can actually hear the animals are quite close. There's an elephant just over this fence. Ooh, this is quite exciting. The male tortoise in the back is making his move, showing off that leg. Ex-boyfriend's coming to the picture. I know what happens next season. Next up, we have the largest and most impressive rest camp, Skakuza. Shall we go see our room? I had forgotten that we had booked the cheapest accommodation here, which was about 35 bucks. It's a tent. So we're gonna discover what we got. We're just right with you guys. Let's go check it out. I'm not nervous. <laughs> so we're avid campers and we don't have any problems with just tents, but it is 100 degrees over the next three days. That may pose a problem. And I gotta say, I am pretty excited. We love tenting and I had always pictured going on safari where you set up a tent every day. So this kind of fits what I'm vibing. But yeah, it's really hot. Mm -hmm. It's so cute! Look, we have a nice little vector table, which we won't use during the day because it's too hot, and then we might not use it at night because of the mosquitoes. <laughs> but it's cute. <laughs> and watch out for baboons. Hey! 
Hey. 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 Nice. That's nice. All right, giant fan. That's gonna come in handy. We've got a fridge and four beds. Why are we so many beds? Hey, the outlets work. Cool. Maybe I put it in the wrong spot. Look. Surprising it's not that hot inside the tent. They've got this outer structure here that provides shade so it doesn't uh, fall under direct sunlight. While traveling long term, sometimes Garrett and I have been hand washing. We bought these little packets called so sink sets, which have been great when you just need a new pair of underwear. <laughs> and what they have here is they have a basin that's perfectly made for hand washing and they have lines outside. So maybe I'll get a fresh t-shirt tomorrow. Nice. The communal bathrooms look solid, very well stocked on toilet paper. This is baboon proof trash can. Uh, quite heavy. <laughs> Maybe sky proof as well. <laughs> sky, yeah. So waiting until sunset to make a clear call, but so far the mosquitoes, I haven't really seen any. That's a welcome relief. Garrett and I just did a whole tour of Skokuza and we are mightily impressed. There's a whole range of accommodation and some of these places are super fancy. If you're looking to have more of a theme park experience for the whole week, Skokuza's got you covered. This is pretty much a hotel in the middle of the safari. Oh God, Garrett and I are staying in a tent. <laughs> uh, Maybe it would have been better not to take a look. <laughs> yeah. This camp is so big. It has three restaurants and two pools. Not bad. And they have Wi-Fi. I can't believe I get a nice steak dinner out in the middle of the safari. This is absolutely insane. And this steak is only about $15. That's a solid steak. Wow. Nice and tender. Really juicy. And I love this black pepper corn spice. And I got delicious fish and chips. They've got a nice grocery market, relaxing pools, and even a golf course. Welcome to the Kruger Golf Course. There are no fences apparently, so I just signed my life away. Uh, you have to expect animals to come and maybe play the game with you. It's just me, the gardeners, and the hippos. It's funny, hippos kind of make the sound that my dad makes while he snores. Kruger has accommodations for every type of traveler, whether that be the avid camper or a person looking for luxury. This has easily become one of our favorite vacations, and with the annual pass, we're hoping to return for more adventures soon. See you there!